guys welcome back to today's video so today I am going to be sharing with you this makeup look but it's really just gonna be me testing out new spring products from Catrice they sent me this amazing PR package filled with their whole spring collection I will show you guys what it looks like but everything is so fun and everything is eight dollars and under so if you want to find out how I got this look and also check out all the new Catrice spring launches which hopefully are available on Amazon I will have everything in the description box don't forget to subscribe if you love affordable makeup looks and let's get into it. I just got this package the other day and immediately I was like, we're filming a YouTube video because I was so excited. I kid you not, open this package and I said, when did Makeup Forever get my mailing address? Because I thought this was for Makeup Forever, which obviously you guys know is a high-end Sephora brand. Little did I know, <laughs> this is actually from a affordable drugstore brand Catrice, which I reviewed their stuff so much on my channel. I love their products and majority of their products are made in Europe. But this package is like a whole new spring collection. And I was like, I just want to try everything in here. So let's kind of go through and see what's inside. And then we will test them out together. But first off, the PR package is absolutely beautiful. It's so nice. We have this top layer as well as two pullout drawers, six to eight dollars which is on par usually for what Catrice usually costs. So we have this first level here, which has this contour palette. Also, sorry if the lighting is going weird. That's because I have this box next up. To, it's because this box is up to my face. But we have a contour palette, a serum, like a primer serum, and then we have five cream blushes. Second draw, we have three new eyeshadow palettes and wait till you guys see some of the colors in the eyeshadow palettes like they're really unique and interesting on the third level we have one of my favorite products from them the under eye brightener in two shades the peach and nude and then four of these new melt and shine juicy bombs which is a lot like the tarte lipsticks let's start out with eyes and then i'll move on to the face stuff so i don't know how i'm going to choose between all these eyeshadow palettes nice colors in them so this first one is safari fever and here's what the colors look like. Definitely warm tones. We have a lot of shimmers. And then we also have this really fun color right here that's literally like zebra striped, which I've never seen before. Eyeshadow palettes are $10. This palette is Blooming Bliss, and it reminds me a lot of a Huda Beauty palette. But do you guys see this? I don't know what this is. Like, what on earth? It's like just a bunch of dots to me. And this is called... Coral Crush and then some neutrals. Really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes before we put on any eyeshadow as per usual. First things first, I'm just gonna go in and add like this matte shade because thankfully this palette does have a matte in it, which is so nice. Work from home, so I'm alone by myself. So I think doing makeup tutorials because I'm talking because I don't really like have too many people to talk to during the day like I feel like it's kind of like an outlet for me and when I'm talking when I feel like I'm talking to you guys through the camera because I am even though I'm by myself I know you guys are watching this right now listening to me so it feels like I'm talking to a friend and I hope you guys feel the same way when you're watching my videos it's how I want it to come across but all that to say like during the day when you're alone by yourself you're much like a daydreamer so I feel like I'm always like it lost in my own head so doing videos actually calms me down and like helps if I have any anxiety or any like racing thoughts um, just kind of like gets me out of my head and that's why one of the reasons why I love filming I'm just kind of realizing this right now like wow like filming actually does calm me down um, it's like an outlet so thank you guys for listening to me and being here so I'm trying to decide what look I want to go for because like there's so many options here I'm feeling overwhelmed like which one do I pick maybe we'll do it has my crease shape starfish oh my gosh this is such a pretty color look at this I love it and this is this is a Olimar cosmetics crease brush which I definitely got in boxycharm I feel like I get half my brushes from boxycharm I want to go in next with this shade peony i don't know why it just looks really pretty on the lid first i have to see if this will go on like without any setting spray so let's see gosh it's such a pretty color i love this it's like a how would you describe this it's like a pinky i don't know what is that i guess it's like a pinky purple 
and this shade is very soft it's like one of those shimmer shades when you dip your brush in it like leaves a little divot i gotta be honest i was not expecting much from these shadows they looked a little dinky but they're actually pretty nice i love a pleasant surprise like that and can i just say i don't know if anyone else is like me you can comment below but there is something about the peace of being home alone no offense to nick i love uh talking to him when he's home but like there's something about like the house just being so peaceful like oliver and gizmo are both sleeping right now not that they're like crazy or anything like they're so calm but they're both like sound asleep like i hear their water fountain and i'm just like am i so weird i'm like literally like smiling at the peace man what is that am i weird like please tell me i'm not alone i know some people don't like being home alone couldn't be me like i absolutely <laughs> love it it's just zen it's just zen vibes like it's so funny because like i am introvert introverted for sure but i love like talking to people like i'm a really friendly person i would say like i just love like getting to know people at the store again because i am home alone so much so i guess i can be like extroverted i'm definitely not shy i used to be shy when i was younger but i totally kind of like broke out of my shell and now i really feel comfortable talking to pretty much anyone and i feel comfortable making other people feel comfortable when i'm talking to them it's definitely like a skill you have to kind of master expert or anything but i it's just funny to me how introverted but then I can also be extroverted. But with being introverted, um, like, basically it means that you like your alone time. And like I was saying, that's what I love. And with Violet, I think I'm going to put this in the crease. Comment down below and let me know if you guys are the same as me. Like, are you, like, introverted but friendly? I guess that's how I would describe it. Like, I... Ooh, this is nice. I'm just going to put this right into the crease just to create, like, a little sunset moment i don't even know i don't know what that personality type would be described as but yeah <laughs> okay these colors are giving let's go with dark rose i had to see which one spoke to me this d deeper color it's kind of like a deep burgundy and we're just gonna use this in the outer corner I saw someone the other day, I know I'm doing eyeshadow right now, but she said she felt like wearing mascara brought the eye down, and I was like, really? I never heard anyone say that before, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, this is just going on the inner corner. These are so pretty. My goodness gracious. Like, I was, I was ready to count these out before I even tried them. Shame on me, because... I actually really really like these okay so i went ahead and put on eyeliner now i want to try the skin glaze this is another new item it's their hydrating serum primer and this is like a pearly kind of finish so it has 0.5 squalene apply all over the face for glass skin finish but that's really the only like skincare ingredient in here is that squalene um and it's vegan alcohol free and fragrance free so, like, is this going to be really anything special? I don't know. Let's see. I feel like I do have to put these little pieces of my hair back. You know what I realized I haven't done in so long that I used to always do was go thrifting. I used to always go thrifting, and I would do reselling, and then I just kind of, like, got out of it, and I haven't, like, have to be in the mood to want to go thrifting, um, but I haven't done it in a while. I want to go check out a thrift store soon. Um, wow. That actually made my skin look really pretty. Maybe it's, like, the pearl in it. But I like it because it's not sticky like a lot of those types of primers are. Like literally it went right into my skin and gave me a really pretty glow. So yes. This is one of the things I'm most excited for. This little palette that literally looks like makeup forever. Look how fun this is. This is blushes, bronzers, and then these two are highlighters. So also in the comments if there's any products that you guys are loving right now. I'm going to do some sort of beauty service which i never do and i always tell myself i'm gonna do and 
it's because honestly I just try and do everything myself <laughs> so I always say to myself I'm like okay I'm gonna get my brows done this weekend like by a professional and then I just never do <sighs> because I think going to like a salon would like trigger anxiety for me like I don't know um I don't I also like just don't know what they're gonna do so that's why obviously you have to like look at reviews it's a really nice foundation by the way you don't want to just use anyone like I'm not just pulling up to any old salon being like do my eyebrows um especially when you have thicker eyebrows but yeah also like I keep telling myself I'm gonna like get a facial and I never do that. I've never gotten a facial in my entire life, you guys. Isn't that crazy? My light just died. I had to plug it in. And when it died, I could not believe how dark the filming space looked. I'm like, wow, that light really makes a difference. Foundation is on. Now let's play with the palette. This is fun. Um, I think I'm going to try something like maybe like a flat brush like this. Let's see if this will work like a foundation brush. And I think I'm going to go with, should I do this one? Maybe this one's a little warmer. This one's darker. Let's go with the warmer one. Contour. Hmm. And then let's do the forehead. I have to go to Primark today because I got a couple things there, but um, I have to do some exchanges because I got the wrong sizes. And I freaking love that store. Ooh, it's like basically taken the place for me of like H&M and Forever 21 because everything there is like the same quality, but so much cheaper. I mean, H&M isn't, well, some things from H&M could be expensive, but I don't have to go through the mall to get there. I just like walk right in. So I'm like, this is my spot. <laughs> and there's literally everything there you can get um men's clothes you can get kids clothes accessories jewelry sunglasses and everything is like so cheap it's crazy um i know they're not everywhere but if you have one we have like a ton of them here now they're at like literally every single one of our malls and i will definitely want to set this with a powder as well um okay so now let's do one of the blushes i think i'm probably gonna go with this one this like pinkier one you could probably also mix them honestly these are very creamy a lot of people have been like bringing up the blush like literally like all the way up here and I think pink blush is still trending. Like, I'm seeing this baby pink blush thing. It's still happening. So, I like these because they're not too, like, wet or dewy looking. I have blush on. I realized that we have those five blushes that I didn't even try because I used this. And now I'm like, well, shoot. I just done messed up again. Because how am I supposed to try out five blushes? You know what? We're just going to have to layer that's what we're gonna do so we have five gorgeous blush shades right here i think i'm gonna take the pink one because that's obviously the color scheme we're going with here liquid blush these are only six dollars in poland they're vegan oh my gosh they have marshmallow extract in them i don't know what that means but i'm excited brush so um i'm just gonna like tap some off oh they're very kind of like liquidy consistency and i'm gonna like a nice glow to them i'm excited to keep playing with these it does say it's shake well which i did not do but look how cute they are i love the little squeeze packaging i'm definitely wearing a lot of blush right now but i like how these are kind of like a thinner consistency um yeah those are nice obviously play with all the colors because i'm already wearing way too much blush but looks really good bit kind of a baby doll pink colors definitely be like something i'm reaching for in the summer when i just want something light i feel like my under eyes don't look bright which is frustrating um i use like a very kind of sheer concealer and i just feel like 
my under eyes look dark. I don't like it. I don't like it. But now I already said everything, so that's frustrating. Ugh, I really like when my under eyes look like, brighter. I'm thinking, what if I put on like a neuter lipstick and then put this on top? I don't know. Or should I just put it like, let's just try it on its own. You have to like click it up, but it's nothing's happening. Comb! Where are you? Six dollars. They smell really nice. And these are made in Italy. Oh my goodness, so fancy. I love when their stuff is made in Italy. It just feels so luxurious. Like the way that this lip color came out because I blended it with the lip, oh my God. I blended it with the lip liner. We have a special guest. I think this is like a good neutral color for me that's not too nude, but still complimentary towards the eye look. So, did I even tell you guys what this shade was? This one's called Secret, like S-E-A, Secret. This is the completed look. I really like the way it came out. Um, I think the eyes are really pretty. I was really impressed by the eyeshadow palette. Both the ones that I tried, the quality honestly was really good. Um, the matte, the shimmers, everything blended really nicely. The colors weren't muddy or anything. This little guy, the Skin Glaze, was also so beautiful. I'm excited to try this out again because I really love how this was not sticky and how it just made my skin look really pretty. And it's really hard to find a serum primer that doesn't make you look greasy, especially me. I'm already oily. But it's definitely giving me like makeup forever vibes. Like I was telling you guys, I love how small it is. And also that you have many different options here. Well, I say many. A couple different options here and it's kind of all in one like this is something I would definitely travel with because it has everything and I could do like a quick look with this um, for blush highlight and bronzer so this is great and very like makeup artisty looking I'm very into this Both those products the serum and the palette are only eight dollars and then I can't wait to try the rest of the colors but these are really nice more of like a thinner consistency liquid blush so it's not gonna be too overwhelming but like I said I, I did layer the two blushes um, because I already put that one on from the Magic Shaper palette. But from what I could tell since using this pink one, which this one's called Pink Feelings, um, they're really, really nice. And also, I kind of like that they have the marshmallow extract in them. I mean, I don't know exactly what it does, but it's a nice little touch. They even have this guy over here, which is like a little bit of a deeper berry. Overall, I really love the spring collection from Catrice. Everything's affordable, super fun to play with. I love testing out their new launches and everything really did impress me. There was like not a product where I was like, ooh, that wasn't good. Like I feel like all the products were really good. I didn't get to use the under eye brightener, but I have used that in previous videos before. If you guys want to check that product out, it is really good to apply under your concealer to brighten up your eyes and like get rid of any sort of darkness. I this shade which i have not tried before this is warm nude i didn't even know they had a warm nude that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this affordable makeup try on let me know what you guys thought if you have any favorites from catrice let me know i will link all this in my description and i will see you guys next time